Okay, good afternoon everyone and good day. So today we'll be creating our app called the Dice Roll app. So for this activity, we will be implementing uh, state management, specifically the set state method. So to start our program, we will open and create a new Flutter app. So I will go to the terminal. And from this terminal, I will type the command flutter create dice roller. Now, we'll check the folder. We'll go inside the folder and type code period to open. This uh, BS code. So this is our letter app. Uh, click the directory tree. So we are now click the directory tree to select the root folder. Right click, create a new folder, name asset, images. This is where we will uh, put our images. So these are the images that we will be using for our dice roller. So what we will do is we will drag them inside the image folder, images folder. We have one. Two, three, four, five, six images. Next, we will tell Platter that we will be using the images, and to do that, we will edit or add them on the PubSpec YAML. Scroll down and look for images here. So they they will be under the assets. Uh, delete. Two times, one, two, one, two, and change the name to the folder where the images reside. So it will be asset, images, slash. Do not forget to put the slash to indicate that this is a folder. Then save. Now we will go to our library main dart. Delete all code. We'll start from the scratch. So we'll import material app, the material dart. Then we'll create our main. For this one, because we will be showing images on our main screen, we will create a stateless widget. Stateless widget, we'll name it Dice App, and we'll call the Dice App from our main method. So run app, Dice App. Press F5 to run the application or the app. Okay, we now have our running app with the container. Uh, let's close the widget inspector. So we'll replace the container with the material app. And we'll put a title name Dice Roller. Next, uh, we'll call uh, another page called Home. This will be a staple widget. For that, we will create a new Dart file. We'll call it home page dot dart. So here 
we'll use the material app. So we'll import. Material Dart and we'll create a stateful widget and call it home page. So let's go back to our main. We'll call the home page. Let's run. So we start our application, we'll go back to home page and change this to a scaffold. As you can see there is a debug notice on your app. Let's go back to main and remove it by calling the debug check mode banner to false. Start. So inside our home state, home page state, we will create variable that will represent the different images. For this, we will be using asset image as the class. So we'll create an asset image one and asset image will be Asset images 1.png for your dice image 1. We'll copy. We'll change the name. We'll do the same with the others. Okay. This will be four. This will be five. And the last one will be six. Next, we will create another variable. That will hold our image. So we will call it asset image dice image. As you can see, there is an error. So it declares that it is nullable. You need to initialize it. So to remove this error, we will put late keyword. This will tell Flutter and Dart that dice image will have an initial value when the program runs. Next, we will initialize our value of the dice image. To do that, we will use the init state. And here, we will put, we will use the set state method. And call dice image. So by default, we'll have image one. So you have your set state method. Now let's proceed. We will create now the logic of the code. So for this one, we'll create a method called uh, roll dice. We'll create a variable named random, which will hold our random number from 1 to 6 which is your 
number of dice images. So, one plus random function that next integer six images. Then we'll create an asset image that will hold the value of a random image. We will call it new image. Next, we'll do a switch case. Switch uh, random. Okay. We'll save. Then case one, if it's case one, we'll use the new image and put the first image. Then we'll exit the case. We'll copy this for the other cases. So this will be case two. And it will hold Two. Copy. Is three. Is four. Is five. And the last image is six. We will now transfer the value of our new image to our dice image. To do that, we'll use the set state function or method. Then we'll invoke dice image is equals to new image. So it's nullable for lake. We will now build our layout. Okay, let's proceed um, writing our layout. So currently we have a scaffold. We'll have an up bar. The up bar will have a title. So, we will put Dice Roller as the title. Next, we'll proceed with the body. And we will add a container. We'll add a child, which will contain columns. And that column will have children. First, our image. Our image is the dice image. Now we'll change the width of our dice image to width 200 and height 200. Okay, so S. Okay, let's take a look at the declaration. So we'll remove punch Next. We'll add another container. This will hold the elevated bottom container. A tile will be an elevated bottom. The elevated bottom will have two primary uh, parameters. We have the tile, which will contain a text press link okay. 
and the next one is the on press. This one we will call the function or method roll dice. Now, if you pre press Control S, you will now see the image, the button and the image. Now, if something goes wrong, try to press Restart. Okay, next, we'll center the button and the image. Do that. We will use the column main access alignment, main access alignment center. Then we will wrap, uh, wrap the column in a center widget. Control S, the test. Because we already have our function on the press button, we can try pressing the button. As you can see, it is now changing. This is done through the, the method that we created, this method. Okay, let's style our button. Style. Let's style. Uh, font size 30. Put font rate at work. Run S. Uh, let's put a padding between the image and the button. We can either put the padding here as a size box or we can put it inside the container. So let's add the padding here. Hence insert all and renting. Okay. Uh, let's go from start to remove those links. Okay. Click press me. As you can see, the images of the faces of the dice is now changing randomly. You now have your running roll dice app. Thank you very much and good day.